so we're going to work on the cogs of the hips here. Um, we're not going to worry about anything else to start with. Um, and we're going to look at the three different positions that we played with. So the first one, it's I turn sideways here. It's very simple tilting. So we just tuck the pelvis under and we let it come back. And again, we worked it all in a pain-free range of motion because we don't want to associate the movement with pain. So that little tilt back, that little tilt under. And if you can do it with straight legs, straight knees, even better. You can put your hands on here just to feel that rotation. And if you have a little look at my back, my back just goes with the flow of my pelvis so it gets a little arch and a little bit of flattening and flexion. Then we did the sideways one. So we put a little bit of weight into the right leg, soften the left knee and found that that hip drops. And we put a little bit of weight into the left leg and soften the right knee. And again, staying out of pain with this and just practice that little bit of movement there. And it should be really gentle, just a gentle articulation, allowing the spine just to, to follow on from what the pelvis is doing. The last one we had was a little bit of rotation. Um, and the rotation, there's so many different ways we can get rotation here. So we'll start with the foot and then we'll work on, uh, we'll work from the other end down. So with the foot, say we're working on rotation over that right leg, we were just looking at pivoting over the top. So the right leg stays straight, but we're slightly tucked under, and then we just pivot over the top, and pivot back, pivot over the top, and pivot back. All the time we're just looking at the ball of the big toe, just to stay lightly in contact with the floor. From there, we rotated from the top down, so we just took the hand, and we used it to rotate. We had a couple of options with that. We could follow the head with the hand, so we're looking towards the hand as we rotate, or if we keep the head forward and let everything rotate underneath the head. The other way to get this same motion is to use the other hand. So that way we reached across with the body. So it's just a slightly different way of doing exactly the same thing. And we're looking to find which is the less painful. And then that's gonna be the one which we're gonna to start to explore and then put the other ones in later.